Hey guys, SCL3016 here. This evening I'm going to be bringing you a new product review. Well, new at least to me. Uh, up on the test track tonight we have an Atlas GP40-2 with QSI sound. Uh, for those who didn't see my last video, I picked this guy up at the 2014 New Super Valley Model Road Show in Raleigh. Got it home and it would not operate. Uh, but luckily I was able to contact the seller and it had just been left in DCC mode. So I was able to get that remedied this afternoon with a trip down to the Waynesboro, Waynesboro Model Railroad Club in Goldsboro. Uh, big shout out to those guys for helping me and taking time out of their afternoon to get this locomotive operational again. I hope to visit the club a little bit more. Um, might bring my own equipment down there at some point. Just give a little clue as to what I'm thinking of future plans. But um, overall, very well pleased with the layout. It's great setup and I love the atmosphere. Very operator focused. No drama for 100% prototype accuracy and that's what I like just running trains and having fun because let's not forget guys that's what this hobby's all about but let's not get too far off track and get back to this guy here so per usual all my reviews we're going to give it a couple laps of the track let you hear the sounds and of course check out the detail so without further ado let's get cracking first and foremost it's an atlas obviously so it's loaded with detail however I'm not going to bore you all with this because I know you want to see this thing run so I'm just going to get to the cool part about this engine the weathering job Previous owner did a great job on this, at least in my opinion. You see on the uh, conductor side, cad numbers have been faded out. A little bit of uh, rust in the lower part of the frame. Truck's fuel tank as well. CS6 logo very aptly faded. The grills have a nice fill wash of black. Let's get a look at the back truck here. There we are, back side. Your grab irons have a good amount of rust built up there. Uh, taking a look at the top. You see a lot of soot in the exhaust, much like you see on a XSP tunnel motor back in the day. Very good job. And continuing on the engineer's side. Rest on the fuel tank, trucks, a lot of grime. Logo got a bit more scratched out and faded on this side. Ditto for the numbers. But all in all, this is a very cool locomotive. I think at least. I've been meaning to get a weathered piece for quite a while now and this is too good to pass on. Okay, that's the basics on sounds. Um, overall, very, very pleased with this locomotive sound pack. Uh, QSI usually does a great job. Um, as some of you may notice, this is not the stock sounds that this locomotive originally came with. Um, it was sent back to Atlas around 2012 and received a quantum chip upgrade. And honestly, I'm glad it did because I love the RS3L. The E-Bell is a little bit out of place, but honestly, I don't mind. It makes it unique, and since this is a bit of a unique locomotive... Makes them all the more welcome in my fleet. So, I'm going to quit yapping and get this guy rolling.
Alrighty then guys, that about wraps this review up. Uh, before we shut things down, however, I'm going to leave with a couple closing thoughts. Uh, first of all, locomotive, uh, no complaints whatsoever. Runs great, the sound is awesome, and as you can see, it pulls quite a bit. So this is very much so a welcome addition to my fleet. Uh, next up, school. Uh, for those who follow me, know, of course, I'm in my first semester at college. Uh, Thanksgiving break, as well as Christmas, are coming up, but with that comes the average rated finals. Now, got my next semester all lined up, good to go on that front, but finals are going to divulge into quite a bit of my time, so this will probably be the only video y'all are going to see before I get on break. So, sorry to those who are looking forward to it, but school comes first, guys. Always remember that. So until next time, guys, this is SCL3618, signing off.